Trump RNC chairman Reince Priebus. Congratulations. Reince, it's uh, good talking to you. When he was on our show in the SNL studio, he was too tired to think about this job. He's too tired to think about this <laughs> right. job, but he, he's, got, he's, he's got it now. He's right. got to think about it now. So you, you just you just heard obviously a lot of people uh, applauding your uh, your uh, selection. There are some concerns about Bannon. Uh, because of the Breitbart connections. What would you say to those people that have those concerns right now? Well, that's not, that's not the Steve Bannon that I know. And I've spent a lot of time with him. And here's a guy who's a Harvard Business School, London School of Economics, 10-year naval officer advising admirals. He was a force for good on the campaign at every level that, I've, that I saw all the time. Um, but look, you know, this is all about achieving President-elect Trump's agenda. Um, and I can assure you, and I think it's really important, and I know that President-elect Trump wants everyone to understand this, to all Americans out there, no matter your race, your gender, your ethnic background, he wants to make you proud of our country. He wants to serve you. And I can tell you this, in 20 years, you're going to look back at this president and say, wow, he did everything he said, and what a great job, and, and how incredible this country went. That's what he wants. He wants... To, for everyone to understand that he yeah. gets that he serves you. And that's the president that I know, and that's the person I'm working with today. Walter Isaacson's here, and he's got a question <coughs> for you, Reince. Hey, Reince, how are you? you? Bet. Um, hey, Walter. I, I'm doing great. I, I listened to what you just said, which is so important, making everybody feel part of America again, not feeling discriminated against. Uh, but what is he going to do to make that happen? Because the appointment of Stephen Bannon, even if he did go to Harvard Business School or whatever, sends a signal that some of the stoked up uh, hatred that happened in the fringe parts of the internet uh, are things that he's bringing into the White House. Am I wrong about that? And how do you make, how do you reassure people that's not the case? Well, I think everyone out there can agree that you judge people as you see them, not as other people have said. Uh, but and that's the that's that's what I would say is that, you know, it, it's what people do. Um, it's how people act on a day to day basis. Nothing I've ever seen. I've only seen uh, a generous, hospitable, wise person to work with. So look, at, at the end of the day, um, this campaign worked because factions within our party were represented and we had the most elect you know it was an electoral landslide to tell you the truth and Donald Trump was able to achieve that but but it was because of Donald Trump and his message and the fact that Democrats Republicans independents said we want a change in this country and Donald Trump represented that change and he did so in a way that just shocked the world um, and the other thing about president-elect Trump and everyone understands it who knows him he listens to a lot of people if anyone thinks that I'm the only one that's going to walk in to that office and say, this is what you have to do, I think in a lot of cases <laughs> he takes the advice, but he likes to listen to a lot of people, and that's a good thing. That's what you want from a president. Um, and so it's a role that I'm honored to have, and it's a role that I look forward to serving, but most importantly for the American people to, to advance the agenda uh, of President-elect Trump and make everyone proud in this country, no matter who you are. Rance Priebus, Donnie Deutsch, first of all, congratulations. And to that last point, Thank and, you. And, and let me get a little advice from the cheap seats and under my new guys have proved me wrong. I, there's one speech he needs to give, and, you know, and it's really what you just said and what his kid said and he's hinted at it, that simply says to people, hey, look, I, you know, I play, I'm a certain kind of fighter in the ring, and I know there were a lot of things said and done, but explicitly address and say, hey, look, I am everybody's president. I am Muslim president. I am a, a transgender president. It's a simple, simple message. And you know what? In a street fight, sometimes you do and say things. And I know people are frightened out there. Don't be. And walk some of that stuff back. He does that. The dominoes will fall. There's and, no place. And, and, and that Reince, simple. Reince, that is what Donald Deutsch calls a question. Uh, no, so, uh, why wouldn't he, well, why wouldn't he, he answer the question? If he doesn't do that, so, if he doesn't oh, okay, do okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you got to stop talking, Chris Matthews, okay. and let him answer. I'm Go just, ahead, uh, Don. You know, Donnie, I think that's good advice. Um, and and that's, where, Don, that's where President like Trump's heart's at. He, he, he doesn't like seeing the things that, that are on TV right now. It's not, it's not who he is. It's not what he wants to represent. And, and he wants people that are out there even tonight that are protesting to, to, to you know, let, let them govern. 
let him make you proud of our country. Give him a shot, you know, to protest before he even walks into the Oval Office after a historical landslide. It's everyone's right. We get the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. That's fine. Yeah. But, you know, it was the Democrats and Hillary Clinton that were aghast that they thought that Donald Trump would not accept the outcome of the election. Well, he won. Very convincing. Rance, you're still campaigning. And Instead of saying they shouldn't be protesting, okay. no, this is the way they stop I said protesting. I agreed with you. Donnie, okay. I said I agreed with you. you. I he's said that you had you. a good advice. I said that was good advice. Yeah, you know, Ryan, okay. Ryan, so the reason, reason why Donnie uh, reacted the way he did is you're the first person that's ever said he's given good advice. Steve Ratner's here. <laughs> he's got a question. I have a you. question. <laughs> uh, my yeah. question is, uh, during the campaign, President-elect Trump took positions on a variety of issues that were at odds with what Paul Ryan and some of the other, what I'll call mainstream Republicans uh, took. I'm thinking of immigration, where yesterday Paul Ryan rejected the idea of mass deportations. I'm thinking of trade, where Paul Ryan is very much for free trade. I'm thinking of reforms to Social Security and Medicare, which Paul Ryan and other House Republicans have been pushing for and Donald Trump has been opposed to. How are you guys going to resolve those conflicts? Well, there's not that, the conflicts aren't as great as you're outlining. I mean, in regard to immigration, Donald Trump, President-elect Trump's immigration policies are very similar to policies that are sitting right in the House today to temporarily suspend immigration from countries that harbor terrorism, to temporarily suspend uh, immigration from Syria until we get better vetting. That's not extreme. That's, that's exactly what is in the House today. In regard to tax reform, I would imagine that Donald Trump's tax reform policies are 80 percent or 90 percent in line with what is sitting on a major tax reform uh, program sitting in the House. Um, as far as trade is concerned, look, J Paul Ryan and I come from Janesville, Wisconsin and Kenosha, two places decimated by the car industry leaving our country and going to Mexico and China. You know, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, you know this free trade uh, obsession is something that can't get looked at in regard to making things more fair. And so I'm telling you, there's a lot of common ground, and he's going to make you proud of this country, and that's what we want every American to feel in about three, three months when they see it happen. Ryan Spreebus, thank you very much. Congratulations. What you and Sean Spicer did, by the way, nothing short of remarkable. So congratulations. It really, it really was. Thank